back at the bench today. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to take the day off from the Disky project. It is at the stage where it's still fully functional. I want to kind of bask in this and maybe play with it before I break it again. I'm trying to reduce that key latency <laughs> and uh, it might be down for a couple of days. So we'll give it a rest. I've got my shot list for the next video that I'm shooting um, for the B-roll and what I've got. Remember last video or a couple videos ago we got those trays from dollar store these big monsters here they discontinued them they're not getting any more all they have left is these three dollar ones so we got nine of them and total thirty dollars and eighty nine cents that is by far the cheapest organizers and they these i can't describe it on video other than by the sound these are really heavy and that kind of ductile plastic it, they seem really good i wish i could have gotten the big ones but what i'll do is i'll migrate some of these that i didn't fill over to the small ones and then save these larger ones for things where i have larger quantities and that should help us get rid of the remainder of some of these large containers that aren't full and uh yeah, uh, get some screws organized, parts organized, and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Fun stuff. Gonna break some things out of these containers because these are much, much easier to kind of deal with and I'm much more likely to go and grab components or look at inventory than I am sifting through those. So I'm gonna phase these out, uh, or at least as they sit more over to long-term storage, if that makes sense. Check this out, new piece of gear arrived. Today is shoot day and uh, I don't normally accept things for review anymore, but this one I couldn't refuse. You guys are gonna like this. This thing just screams quality and this is why I accepted it for review. Check this out, look how heavy duty this thing is. This. Uh, Makes my uh, K40 look like tin junk because that's kind of what it is. This thing is heavy. <laughs> and this is what the studio kind of looks like when I'm doing a, a review or testing out equipment. What I usually do is video all the footage and you guys don't tend to see it for six to eight months. This one I'm going to do an expedited review because that's what I agreed to. But my main follow up will be in like six, eight months. There's always a catch. Frozen, heat gun, both the same. Arrgh. Well, that's hardly worth the effort, but uh, it does come off, but it leaves cloudiness even with goo gone. And, ah, what a nightmare. Drawback of uh, cheap stickers. What a way to wreck a pretty good product. Well, these things take a long time to do, but they're totally worth it once they're set up. So now I have M3 button head done. Uh, this was three containers and a whole buttload of bags. And now they're in a condition where I can actually select the fastener that I want. It's a minor win, but it sure makes things a lot nicer when you're working in the shop. Like being able to just grab what I need and go is, is just, yeah, it's pretty nice. Speaking of hold down hardware, I've started baking in screw hole mounts in all my new PCBs, all recent history ones. You see on some older ones, I didn't bother doing that and I kind of wish I did. So live and learn. This is really easy modification to make in KiCad. And once you have the template, you can just copy paste. I still have all of these boards made at PCBWay.com. They still have the $5 for 10 boards deals, as well as other periodic deals super easy to order them. I've had great luck and the boards come through looking like this. They do a great job and I'm happy to support them here on the channel and glad they support us in our projects. <laughs> Check this out. GoPro stop time lapse. That came out wonderful. That is the axis extension for the new laser. 
We'll get back to the bench tonight. I have a fun one coming up. We're gonna build a cool project. But first, we have to see if my transformer I just got from DigiKey actually does the business. We're turned on, We're dialed in on my, I've just got plugged into my isolation transformer. And with any luck, we have the correct voltage. And this is supposed to be a 30 volt center tap. And sure enough, 18 volts. Now, 18 volts is a little high because we've got no loading on here whatsoever. So uh, that might settle down just a little bit, but uh, 15 volts center tap. So we have uh, plus or minus 15 volts. We are good to go. We can build our project. Should note, don't give up on DigiKey. Uh, this stuff, uh, I, I order from China way, way more than I should. And this was a little on the pricey side for a travel, but it was the only place I could get it. It's new, they stand behind it. Eight bucks, FedEx, inter international overnight, no customs owing up my door. Eight bucks, and it, I ordered it at noon and it was here uh, bef just after noon the next day. So pretty cool, well done. How cool is this? Finally got all my RF connectors in one bin, or well, soon to. These things have just come out great. And these have been, again, same story as before. I've had this stuff spread all over the workshop and never really have a clear view of what I have. So now this is my nano VNA bin with my calibrators and attenuators, more attenuators, adjustable attenuators, filters, DC blocks, all that, lots of cool RF stuff, but strictly connectors. I finally have an overview. This makes me feel really good in the workshop when I can finally find what I'm looking for. T800 approves. That is pretty cool. When you need new parts in the shop, like a duct for blazer cutter fans, print them. Look at the quality of that. That's pretty good. The CR10 still does the business. Like this is an original CR10. And look at that print quality. It's pretty awesome. Just about halfway through the voltage regulators. Pretty happy how this is going to come out. Finally have everything in one place and enough 7805s apparently to last me four lifetimes. Chalk another one up that we don't need to have more drawers, more bins, and more bags hanging around. Check that out. That I'm proud to have in my shop. I cheated on the 79 series, but I've never needed a 79 series, a negative voltage one yet. Um, I may, but because uh, I'm actually building something that I need a minus 15 volt right now. But we're doing that with the transformer. So all good. Everything, uh, yeah, pretty cool. This may seem like a silly thing, but I treated myself today to a new mechanical pencil because those one-shot disposables are just kind of junk. And this is just awesome. The, it's super fine, 1.5 millimeter, and writes beautifully. And you may say, well, that's, an, that's nothing. Well, it is actually. For me, when I'm writing stuff down, I retain it a lot better, like this keyboard nightmare that I just went through. Uh, I don't know whether I'm ever gonna retain that, but if the art of writing is smoother and easier for me, I'm more apt to enjoy it, if that makes sense. So yeah, like a couple of bucks at the dollar store, if that helps, I'm all for it. Not too shabby. And that's just how it comes off the ultra base. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that. So this will be the new duct for my two laser cutters. Uh, just printed in PLA and came out just beautiful. 
Uh, not ideal having it in plastic, but it's fine. Uh, I keep an eye on things pretty close, and truthfully, the ductwork is already plasticized, so should be fine. Well, it finally had to happen. <laughs> that is the worst print fail I have had in all my years of printing. But it's fine. The nozzle's not clogged. It kept coming out, so... Doesn't normally that would smell and I'd notice it, but uh, <laughs> awesome. That's looking better. Uh, what are we? Fourteen hours in and no spaghetti soup, but I had no gray filament left. So we get orange. Pretty cool. Just like that, we have one more big bucket of things emptied and all those containers for recycle. And now I have a tray for my anchors and wood screws. So pretty cool. Uh, I'm just gonna keep working away at this and keep clearing out the closets and make room with this. There we go. That's what it gets rid of. Out to the garage. I just got back to my father's place and he brought me the best Christmas gift ever on top of the Christmas gift he already got me. The solar panels that I showed on the videos before that we're gonna install on the Make Me Outdoors channel and our camper. These are my new power supply for it. These are 139, 138 amp hour um, absorbed glass mat AGM batteries. And they're gonna replace those DP27s that I had in the trailer last year. I may run both in some situations, but these are gonna be our photovoltaic battery bank. Just monsters. So it's carry on the boxing and spring cleaning. So I raided dollar store again and check this out. I found these things, which are just perfect, I think, for stepping up our material storage for our laser and another laser cutter that's gonna live right here. But I need to tidy this up first. Check this out, I am happy with this. So this is where the K40 laser cutter lives and now all my material storage is right above it. How cool is this? We have transparencies, I use these for COVID shields. Uh, water bottles from Dollar Store that we're gonna engrave in an upcoming video. We have night lights, those actually are pretty cool to engrave on both CNC and laser cutter. Uh, different like coasters, wooden cutouts. This is all dollar store stock, uh, business cards, little jewelry boxes, uh, different picture frame like plaque things, all dollar store. Now all the cutting boards, all my acrylic, more cutting boards, more acrylic, all the big long pieces in this cool thing. And then I have various stuff for the CNC machine and Things that I haven't gotten around to putting away yet and a whole pile more here for the lathe. It's still a work in progress, but uh, pretty darn cool. Okay, surprise. This may or may not already have a video up on the channel by the time this little vlog airs, but we have another laser cutter. This is the X-Tool D1. It's a 10 watt diode laser cutter that is going to live right next to our K40. And now our CNC is going to be on a mobile station. Check this out. It's going to be on my welding cart and I'm going to have all my material, my tool storage here and be able to move this around the shop, which is super cool. I got this piece of wood all set up. Um, I might fasten it down. The enclosure fits perfect. No dust coming out. We can wheel the vacuum over. This is a really small workshop and I'm doing the best I can with the space I have. And uh, 
starting to stack things up and make them modular and I'm pretty happy with how that goes. Uh, the only thing I'm not happy about is my laptop position. I need to make another shelf and have that set up um, above the laser cutter and I need, um, I want to put a fire extinguisher right here. Uh, not behind the laser. Don't put your fire extinguishers behind your laser cutters. I have one right there. I have another one over by the door. Uh, actually, there's two over there, but uh, I want one right here. So yeah, we're all set. And then I just have to run my ductwork over with my fan that didn't show up this weekend. I have all my materials spring clean, ready to go. Pretty happy with this. And I have to clean up that cables. Curious Mark on TV. Awesome. Alrighty, that came out pretty good. That will do the job. That's going to be our adapter from our ductwork to pull the fumes away from our X-Tool D1 laser cutter. So yeah, that should do the job. It's not for that laser cutter. It's just a standard one four inch duct from Thingiverse. So should do the trick and allow me to basically just set it on the bench or magnet it to the laser cutter. found four more drawers of switches that I didn't know I had. What an awesome little assortment I've got now from rockers to slide switches. These slide switches had been missing for months. I uh, finally found those and yeah, we've got all the things. This should be uh, pretty cool. You know we're getting close to the end when we're down to the M2. So I've got uh, the countersunks and the cap head and button head all in one. But I didn't even know I had a decent selection of M2s, but sure enough I did. Yeah, I labeled the ones that I cared to and that's enough. Oh, I didn't video this one, but another kit created. These are M4 and M5, and my M2s are all set. Pretty happy with this. Just got this disaster to go through. And we had an order come in from Josh in the great state of Alabama. Three ESP32 breakout boards headed off to their new home in Alabama. Thanks for the order. That is just one of my favorite things to do is to make these kits and it just feels kind of neat to maybe help someone somewhere get into the hobby a little bit maybe a little something outside their comfort zone I'm not sure but uh just makes me happy out in the shop today just finished the video for this x tool d1 and doing some engraving pretty happy with this this is uh this is just a perfect fab setup now i have the diode laser the co2 laser the cnc over here lathe and I might even keep that drill press. This is just cool.